Aloha. Uh, today I wanted to get some information going uh, or just kind of get a flow going on um, my own perspective and kind of share my own story um, in reference to uh, the flat earth, concave earth, Mandela effect, and uh, also the hollow earth. And a bit of a backstory on me about nine months ago. I had started researching the flat earth and I was perceiving the flat earth back then as like a, like this map or I first came across was this map right here and I came across with the Mercator this is the Mercator image of the North Pole and this really resonated with me and I was like oh, okay well I need to understand what this is because I know Mercator. I work with Mercator maps. I understand the um, the Mandela effect on the Arctic land and the the maps themselves. And this resonates with me because I anytime somebody like if you're gonna ask me like is there land in the North Pole, I would have, I would say yes. And then even as a kid. The story was, oh yeah, the land is covered with ice or it's just a whole bunch of ice up there. But at least there, there is land up there. So when I came across this map, I was all pumped about this. But I was kind of un unsure of my own perspectives and didn't really want to get out there. So I did more research on other things, kind of like <clears throat> my internal uh, perspectives and how I share how what I feel based upon... Uh, what I see and what I'm experiencing and um, when the flat earth stuff came out I was just like oh cool like now I can go deeper into and have more people to share share this stuff with and, and share with myself and learn some more stuff so this image came up but before this image came up four years ago in uh, the end of 2011 early 2012 I had uh, started researching Agartha and the Hollow Earth, and I wanted to know like what was going on with Admiral Byrd and um, the difference between dimensions and um, like uh, some people were talking about like oh, that's what I think that's what pulled me in was with like Sasquatch. So I believed in in. Uh, the existence of like Bigfoot or other beings that can pop in and out of dimensions like they say that um, Sasquatch can do and then that kind of pulled me into like well what is our earth like what is this people say you can go Sasquatch lives in earth or all this other stuff in dimensions going inside of Mount Shasta and portals into the the, the earth and like, well, what is all this stuff and energy and dimensions and portals and all this? And that's when I started researching Hollow Earth. And uh, Hollow Earth, it resonated with me on a sense and then, but mostly it was just before I can even understand Hollow Earth, I need to understand dimensions. And then when I went into understanding dimensions and our, um, our reality, I started going into myself. And started going into like sacred geometry. And that's when I went into sacred geometry. And I was trying to understand like okay well. Well what is this physical reality that we exist in and on and as. And that's when I got down to the basics of the earth, fire, water, air and the ethers. Or the universe. And what are the basic structures of that? And I was like, oh, okay, well, good. This this makes sense. And then there's a spark uh, in our hearts that is an infinite space that um, uh, even recently a guy named, uh, I think his name is Frank Chester or something Chester. His name is Chester Hedring. Or the, his his name is something Chester. But um, he came up with the, the geometry of uh, the heart, and that's kind of a new thing too, for me at least, within the last like year, I've been researching, I haven't revisited yet, but that's also like another, another part of like perceiving my reality, and all these different like outlets and different versions of reality that are out there, 
um, I always knew that, like, it was, there, there's, it's never a really a one thing, it's like a everything all the time, and, um, dreams were also really part of how I perceive my reality, because it's a whole third of our lifetime, and there's information that comes there, there's ancestors, there's, um, you're speaking to your own subconscious, you're experiencing your reality, not only that, is that counter to that is like the American dream and the fact that no, the, the mainstream thing is to not talk about your dreams. It's like this is not even when I was a kid. And that's what that's what um, one of my biggest uh, things was as a kid is like people would tell you, you know, don't don't focus. That's just a dream or even. Even my mom would be like, when I would have a nightmare, it's like, it's just a nightmare, go back to sleep. I'm like, man, that was real though, like, what was going on? Like, what, what does all this stuff mean? I know I saw that just as easily as I see you right in front of my face, like, I know I experienced that, like, what is all this stuff? What are these realities? I never lost touch of, like, remembering my dreams, and um, I wanted to understand, like, how we perceive things. And where this energy is coming from, where I go when I go to sleep, where I where I'm at when I wake up, and um, so when I started to go into the nuts and bolts of like um, understanding, like where we are and and what we are, I came across all these different versions of like how we see and experience our space and none of them really f fit well for me because it's all of them at the same time as one like you know whatever version to say but it's um it's really because I'm still in in the in the in the beginnings of putting this stuff together because the reason why um I'm making this video right now is because flat earth really the way the flat earth is there's something more to it not to mention the fact that uh not even to mention the fact that the united nations has a flat earth map on their flag so there's one thing so just to counter the flat earth for a second just for an argument's sake flat earth the flat earth map is on the united nations bob is a celebrity tila tequila is a celebrity neil degrasse tyson is a celebrity he is part of um, the whole system, like they are output information streams. Um, the United Nations is a system of control. The flat earth design is, um, if, the, okay, so they say if the earth is flat completely, that that's the way it is, we're under a dome then that means the government and everybody already knows this. Whatever it is, they already know what it is, what it is. So um, they already know what the next steps are going to be. So if that's the case, then the information that's getting put out there right now is also being kind of coddled and manipulated to be a certain way. The storyline, the projection stage is being played right now into... A version of reality that is still going to be on a chessboard level going to be part of a control grid and the uh, the chess players are not going to be looking at any they're not going to leave their 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 moves out there like all these 10 steps ahead of you know the the move they're playing right now so if the United Nations has a flag of the flat earth on already they're already 10 steps ahead of us talking the flat earth stuff right now so that being the case and having things be so vulnerable right now with like donald trump and um uh bernie sanders talking about democratic socialism these are all system regardless of what it is that's all existing in a little tiny version of your perceived reality it's still in an enslaved system the united nations is a part of an enslaved system if they got a flat earth map on their flag then it's going to be part of the agenda in some kind of way so if that's the case then that means 
I have to go further into understanding um, the what ifs of the next steps. And I've already been feeling that way because the flat earth community always felt a little kind of like something. And not saying it's bad or anything. It's just like it's it's I don't judge it either way. It's just information. People put out information. That's what I don't get between this whole concave and 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 and, um, and flat earth like bickering and all this stuff. That shit is childish. It's really fucking childish. Like, people, like, saying that they're right. It's egotistical to just be like, oh, yeah, I know everything about, like, this is the way it is. It's this and that and this and that. Like, it's really, yeah, it's, there's a difference between sharing and then sharing information and there's, and um, just, like, putting other people down and, like, projecting your reality onto other people and being like, you're fucking stupid. Like, you're dumb. Like, this is this is the way it is. So like going back and forth between concave and flat, when I had been researching recently, the concave stuff, it was just, it really kind of like threw me off. And I, I, I really don't want to be a part of it. Cause that's a whole nother part of this shit. This stuff too is like that shit only exists online. If you're really talking like to people in their face, they're not going to talk to you like that. Like, and I don't exist like that. I'm still the person that I am and always have been um, in perceiving my reality and speaking to people. Like, so when I speak to you online or whatever, I'm going to speak to you like I'm the person. So don't come at me like you know me in any kind of way on any kind of format, first of all. Second of all, like, in reference to how people address each other on the flat earth it's ridiculous like it's it's super super childish we're talking about the human experience this is not no personal shit like nobody like that's the biggest um egotistical thing to be like talking about like oh it's this way or it's that way and and it's different to see it that way, but it's 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 one it's one thing to see it that way. It's different to project it and then like put somebody else down because they don't whatever see it the other way. Like this, it's different. Like you can share information, but we're all on this like we're all on this journey together, perceiving our reality together to understand, not to be right. So anyway enough of that so yeah like it, it just threw me off and because and it that's why i'm doing this video right now is because the the one main concave guy on here um it just it was just like i can understand the information that he's putting out there i can see where he was coming from i i like the fact that he incorporates and perceives his reality from like the geometric perspectives and going into like um even including the 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 ancient like stuff or or uh, not ancient stuff but going into including like uh, stuff in the bible and that's another thing like there's all there's all these different information flows but a lot of them go into like oh it's this and it says this in the bible and that and like okay and then what about all the other books that are out there? What about all the other stuff? And the people are like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, uh, I don't know. It just kind of throws me off when when only one one side of it gets um, shown and, and really start talking about, like, down-talking the other sides. So anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because three days ago I had a dream where I was standing in a living room and I was looking at the at the ceiling at the lamp and the lamp had a lampshade it was a glass square lampshade but it was open on the bottom and it wasn't completely square it was just like rounded square and you can see the light bulb in the center the inside of this lampshade this glass white glass lampshade was uh this map it was actually, um, like the, it was a map, first of all. I could see, like, this right here. And then, um, I, I saw that and I said, oh, that's a map. And then I got closer 
to see in my head I'm saying I need to get closer to see if that's the flat earth map or if that's like the regular map that I've seen in um, like elementary school or whatever so I walk up closer and I see only one side and then I turn around and see the other side and I'm like oh okay so this is just the regular map from like elementary school but it was inside of that square and the the light bulb was in the middle and I was like oh that looks like a sun that could be the sun and then that's when I started to realize I was in a dream and then I woke up not saying that now I believe in the concave model and all that shit now no I don't believe in any one way or the other I I'm perceiving my reality as I go and um, I'm sharing that process with you right now and that was three days ago and then that prompted me to do some more research on the concave model and um, I've been researching it and then I also have been seeing that like a lot of people in the flat earth don't really talk about it or are not really going into it maybe because they just completely think it's bullshit or whatever I don't know either way to each his own but when I was researching it I could understand like where it was coming from it didn't sit as deep like it doesn't sit the same way for me like for me that stuff sits like in this weird like in between place uh, even the flat earth map, the, the dome model, all that stuff fits in this in-between place. The concave, all of it fits in this in-between place because we're never, we're never taking into account um, our dreams and time and the energy behind projecting our reality and perceiving our reality. Like, that's the main thing that gets me from... Um, and... Which could also be why uh, this whole flat earth movement or community stuff is being projected to keep people or getting amplified to get people to start thinking on this format of the physical, 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 physical reality and not going into understanding, um, like in reference to the Mandela effect, how you project your reality and you can adjust your reality. Uh, by uh, engaging uh, in consciousness and understanding the the basics, the, the harmonics of <clears throat> the sacred geometries, the earth, the fire, the water, the air, and the universe, and how we are uh, examples of, like we're living, walking, conscious examples of all of these working together on an earth plane. Not saying it's flat, not saying it's concave or whatever. We are on a plane of existence. That's as far as I go in re in relation to <clears throat> all of this stuff. It's like, okay, we are sacred divine beings perceiving our reality in time space on an earth plane. I feel this map as existing this energy this has something to do with it like there's something here with this place right here the fact that the government is hiding it and also hiding antarctica makes it more real for me on top of the fact that i used to work with mercator maps so there's this there's that there's also the fact and then some of that other side is the flat earth is on the the united nations maps or flags so there's that as in regards to not completely going diving full force into the flat earth community and that whole stuff. <clears throat> and this is why, because um I'm I've spent the last four or five years diving into understanding the whole reality of the human experience myself, like like before like not even how I perceive the human experience is on a spiritual level that is beyond the physical reality that encompasses the physical reality and in, engages in the physical reality from a spirit side to the, to the physical not the physical to the spirit so like how 
the flat earth models and people talk about, oh yeah, this is designed like this. I see that. But also at the same time, we are adjusting, the, so in, including the Mandela effect right now, we are adjusting our realities. We are engaging in consciousness uh, that that critical mass is moving how I'm I'm just sharing how I feel that critical mass is getting mass is getting closer because more people are seeing um, their engagement in their reality and and letting go of a lot of the old stuff that has weighed us down like gravity relativity literally <laughs> Um, the heavy duty university system lies and and um, systems of control is actual density it's actual weight it holds you down into a <clears throat> into a uh, a dormant state of being to where you don't even dream anymore so I was realizing that uh, people are not dreaming anymore so people are not engaging their in their reality anymore people are not accessing uh, the deepest layers of their consciousness anymore on a conscious state of being because their dreams have been removed from their reality. Um, and when I incorporate my dreams into my physical reality, it like maximizes a hundredfold like how I perceive my reality on a daily basis. And that's why I'm like sharing stuff with you. And I share dreams with people and uh, here uh, around me and everywhere I go. Uh, and then that'll then that'll trigger some people to share their dreams sometimes too. And then that that's really like changing your reality. You're engaging in that space. So th the very fact that the Mandela effect is going on right now, like I say it as a fact because I'm seeing it. Uh, it exists to me and other people have seen it and it exists to them so I'm like I'm more comfortable with the Mandela effect existing than a flat earth model because the flat earth model is really just one part of this reality it's the projection stage just like the concave model is just part of the projection stage this is this that's all this is but we are actually this entire projector perceiving this reality like how did this get designed how did this get designed how did this get designed how what is all this and we are actually this projector like this this see this this double pyramid right here is the same image that is in the eyeball it's the same thing the same exact stuff is going on in how we perceive our reality and um, if we understand how this works and how this perceives like what we see on a small scale on a micro scale will be more easily it'll be easier to understand and perceive our reality on a macro scale so I that's where I am I get there and I stop there because I, I see I see what this individual is talking about when he explains this it still don't sit well with me completely because there's something more than this um, it I can see how he came up with that stuff and it looks more like an eyeball feels more like an eyeball to me and energy and he incorporates sacred geometry and all that stuff like I feel that I understand that. that's cool uh, but internally like personally there's something else missing there like I can't it's not just that. It's, and it's not only about that. There's something else there. Um, the hollow earth stuff um, sits the same way, but just like a smidge, a smidge and closer to to what's going on in in reference to um, this map. Because I want to understand this map. Um, but so like this, the Hollow Earth stuff is really kind of like the same as this for me. Like it's feeling, it's it feels the same. Like, um, but it's still kind of like cartoony. Like the the only thing that's real solid for me is um, is uh, the way life exists. Like we're perceiving the reality. I don't really give a shit about like how. <clears throat> how the plane the, the the projection screen looks 
necessarily yet because it'll look different once we start perceiving our reality differently. Um, once we start adjusting the lamp, once we start adjusting the reflector, the condenser, the blower, the mirror, once we start adjusting the focus lens and the knob and, the, and then uh, the objective lens and all this stuff, once we start adjusting all these uh, parts of our experience then uh, and understand from a different perspective from the perspective of ha being the energy source like being the actual design of this projector being the actual energy going through being the lamp being um, the projection stage and then also um, what gets put on that projection stage because right now the concave and flat earth is a slide on top of the projection stage that's my main point is really that's it it's like it's the slide on top of the projection stage and the projection stage itself but if we start going further into our dreams and into time and into understanding the design of this whole thing we'll understand exactly more intuitively more clearly what this projection stage is what it looks like how it is and if we come at it from that perspective we will be less susceptible to uh, uh, manipulators moves in a giant chess game that is very um, in tuned or uh, Tuned, tuned into the flat earth already like it's already part of the, that board when Neil deGrasse Tyson came on the scene and started rapping with B.O.B. Um, it was active on the board it was already on the board when it was on the United Nations map it was already on the board when they had already knew beforehand you know how stuff was from going up with our tax money in the sky and seeing things so it was even longer than that so if any of Admiral Byrd's stuff is um, true then they know even further than that into like what's inside of this place and that goes into like the hollow earth stuff and even into dimensions if it's even further than that so when we start to take into account all of those different aspects of perceiving our reality then it really kind of throws all the bullshit of what's on this one layer of like flat or concave out of the damn door because um, you can see what's being played what's already being known about and and um, who and what is perceiving this reality is us like it's us doing this so if it's really us doing this and we have nobody, we're not going to rely on anybody. It's really on how we perceive uh, and understand our reality. Then we have to go as deep as we can go and not get caught up on only one version of it. We can't get caught up on the stage of it. Uh, even the fact that concave and, and flat earth exist as like a little bickering back and forth. That shit is, it, it, it's ridiculous. And it's 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 a catch like it's a catch it's a hook, so I'm gonna leave this video there until um, until I come up with more of a more condensed version of uh, like uh, perceiving reality and um, and um, kind of like what's next because. Uh, these are movies. Concave, Flat Earth, Hollow Earth. These are all movies. If you believe it, the dimensions exist. If you believe that you, the Mandela effect that exists in a sense, if you're or at least aware that this stuff exists, then it really kind of gives you an, a whole deeper layer of understanding what the stage is, what it's built out of, who's projecting that stage. And who's experiencing that stage. What is experiencing that stage. So I just want to kind of like throw this out on a rant. Like all this stuff together. And then uh, leave it be. 
<laughs> until my next video. So thanks for joining me. Until next time, peace, love, and harmony.